number 16, which of the following substances when added to pure water significantly increases the water's conductivity? So, you know that graphite would not dissolve in water. Iron hydroxide and copper hydroxide would be insoluble. Sodium chloride is soluble and forms sodium ions and chloride ions. So that would be able to allow electricity to pass through. So D is our answer. 17. A separating funnel can be used to separate a mixture of. You know that the separating funnel is used to separate mixtures of immiscible liquids into phases of different densities. So we're looking for two immiscible liquids, and that would be water and kerosene. So that's B. 18 to 19 uses the following four statements or terms. Ionic crystals, simple molecular, macromolecular, and metallic. Number 18 says, which of the above terms describes the structure of sodium chloride? You know that sodium chloride is an ionic substance and it exists as crystals. Ionic crystals would be our answer, that's A. Number 19, which of the above terms describe the structure of copper? Copper is a metal, so it would have a metallic structure. So D is our answer. 20, the pH of fresh sugarcane juice, which is usually 5.0 to 5.5, can be changed to 7.5 to 8.0 for more efficient processing by adding so looking for a substance that can increase the ph and that means to make it more more alkaline and less acidic so we would look be looking at calcium hydroxide so c is our answer Twenty one, which two of the following statements describe acid salts? And uh, we know that acid salts are formed from the dissociation of acids which have more than one replaceable hydrogen atom. So our answer would be C two and three. 22, a piece of metal is reacted with an acid to produce hydrogen gas. Which of the following procedure should be employed in order to increase the rate of the reaction? So, factors that increase the rate of a chemical reaction, increasing the temperature, concentration, adding a catalyst, increasing the surface area. So, one, increasing the temperature. That is true subdividing the lump of metal that would increase the surface area so that is true reducing the concentration that would not increase the rate of the reaction so one and two only so that's a 23 the atomic number of an element is defined as the number of so the atomic number is based on the number of protons and therefore b is the answer Which of the following halogen is a liquid in liquid at room temperature? Chlorine and fluorine are gases. Bromine is a liquid. So A is our answer. 25. Which of the following statements is true for the equation below? When magnesium react with sulfuric acid, we get magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen. So, hydrogen is oxidized from 0 to plus 1. That's false. 
hydrogen is reduced from plus 2 to 0 that's false so our answer would be C magnesium is oxidized from 0 to plus 2 26 the element that is used to determine the relative atom mass of other elements is a relative atom mass is defined from the atomic mass of carbon 12 therefore b is our answer number 27 and 28 refers to the table here it shows test in the second column and the observation in the last column which of which tests can be used to identify an acidic gas an acidic gas will turn damp blue litmus paper to red and so a is our answer 27 28 which test can be used to identify ammonia gas ammonia is a basic gas and therefore it will turn red litmus paper blue so b is the answer 29 which of the following does not take place during electrolysis oxidation occurs at the anode anions move towards the cathode that's correct So, B is our answer. Number 30, which of the following diagrams illustrates the course of an exothermic reaction? In an exothermic reaction, heat is given out, so the energy of the products would be less than the energy of the reactants. And A describes that. Number 31, an atom with atomic structure of yeah, 2713x contains. Now we know that the atomic number is the number at the bottom, 13, and is the number of protons. And the number at the top is the number of protons plus neutrons. So if we subtract 13 from 27, we get 14. So we have 13 protons and 14 neutrons. Let's see. Thirty-two refers to the following graph, which shows the boiling points of some straight chain alcohols. Which of the following molecular formula represents the alcohol whose boiling point is one eighty? So we're looking at one eighty, on the graph corresponds to seven carbon atoms. So we look for the option with seven carbon atoms. That's D. 